I'm Carolyn Persuti with the VOA Special English Technology Report. An IBM supercomputer named Watson has won the latest battle of man versus machine. Watson won the first ever Jeopardy quiz show competition, starring a computer as a player. The show was broadcast on American television February 16th. The supercomputer defeated former Jeopardy! champions Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter during the three-day competition. The two men had been the show's most successful players until then. The IBM computer proved to be more knowledgeable in every category, including the arts, popular culture, and science. The human contestants spoke about their loss after the show. They said they both got a taste of what it might have been like to play against them. Roger Norton is Dean of the School of Computer Science and Mathematics at Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York. The school held a Watson watch party on the final day of the Jeopardy! competition. They compared it to a Super Bowl for the information technology industry. Roger Norton says everyone was amazed by Watson's performance, especially its ability to understand natural language. In Jeopardy!, players are given information in the form of an answer. They must give an answer in the form of a question. Roger Norton says the very nature of the game makes Watson's performance even more extraordinary. Watson was given the answer clues by electronic tests. It then searched through some 15 trillion bytes of information stored in its database. That is equal to about 200 million pages of text. The machine is able to perform up to 80 trillion operations per second. Its ability to understand language is more advanced than any other computer ever developed. This opens the door to a whole new world of computer applications. From business and investment to medicine and healthcare, the possibilities are endless. Watson is now going to medical school. It is part of an agreement among IBM, Columbia University Medical Center in New York City, and the University of Maryland's School of Medicine. The researchers will help IBM identify the best way that Watson can be used to help the healthcare industry. For VOA Special English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti. Our programs are online with transcripts and MP3 files at voaspecialenglish.com and you can find us on Facebook at VOA Learning English.